and they shall no more sacrifice their sacrifices unto the satyrs, after of whom they go astray. This shall be a statute forever unto them throughout their generations. And thou shalt say unto them, Whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among them, that offereth a burnt offering or sacrifice, and bringeth it not unto the door of the tent of meeting, to sacrifice it unto the Lord, even that man shall be cut off from his people. And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among them, that eateth any manner of blood, I will set my face against that soul that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among his people. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make atonement for your souls, for it is the blood that mocketh atonement by reason of the life. Therefore I said unto the children of Israel, No soul of you shall eat blood, either shall any stranger that sojourneth among you eat blood. And whatsoever man there be of the children of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among them, that taketh in hunting any beast or fowl that may be eaten, he shall pour out the blood thereof, and cover it with dust. For as to the life of all flesh, the blood thereof is all one with the life thereof. Therefore I said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh, for the life of all flesh is the blood thereof. Whosoever eateth it shall be cut off. And every soul that eateth that which dieth of itself, or that which is torn of beasts, whether he be homeborn or a stranger, he shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even, then shall he be clean. But if he wash them not, nor bathe his flesh, then he shall bear his iniquity. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, I am the Lord your God. After the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, whither I bring you, shall ye not do, either shall ye walk in their statutes. Mine ordinances shall ye do, and my statutes shall ye keep, to walk therein. I am the Lord your God. Ye shall therefore keep my statutes, and mine ordinances, which if a man do, he shall live by them. I am the Lord. None of you shall approach to any that is near of kin to him, to uncover their nakedness. I am the Lord. The nakedness of thy father, and the nakedness of thy mother, shalt thou not uncover, she is thy mother, thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. The nakedness of thy father's wife shalt thou not uncover, it is thy father's nakedness. The nakedness of thy sister, the daughter of thy father, or the daughter of thy mother, whether born at home, or born abroad, even their nakedness thou shalt not uncover. The nakedness of thy son's daughter, or of thy daughter's daughter, even their nakedness thou shalt not uncover, for theirs is thine own nakedness. The nakedness of thy father's wife's daughter, begotten of thy father, she is thy sister, thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy father's sister, she is thy father's near kinswoman. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy mother's sister, for she is thy mother's near kinswoman. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy father's brother, thou shalt not approach to his wife, she is thine aunt. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy daughter-in-law, she is thy son-wife, thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy brother's wife, it is thy brother's nakedness. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of a woman and her daughter, Thou shalt not take her son's daughter, or her daughter's daughter, to uncover her nakedness. They are near kinswomen, it is lewdness. And thou shalt not take a woman to her sister, to be a rival to her, to uncover her nakedness, beside the other in her lifetime. And thou shalt not approach unto a woman to uncover her nakedness, as long as she is impure by her uncleanness. And thou shalt not lie carnally with thy neighbor's wife, to defile thyself with her. And thou shalt not give any of thy seed to set them apart to Molech, either shalt thou profane the name of thy God. I am the Lord. Thou shalt not lie with mankind, as with womankind, it is abomination. 
and thou shalt not lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith, either shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down thereto. It is perversion. Defile not ye yourselves in any of these things, for in all these the nations are defiled, which I cast out from before you. And the land was defiled, therefore I did visit the iniquity thereof upon it, and the land vomited out her inhabitants. You therefore shall keep my statutes and mine ordinances, and shall not do any of these abominations, either the homeborn, nor the stranger that sojourneth among you. For all these abominations have the men of the land done, that were before you, and the land is defiled. That the land vomit not you out also, when ye defile it, as it vomited out the nation that was before you. For whosoever shall do any of these abominations, even the souls that do them shall be cut off from among their people. Therefore shall ye keep my charge, that ye do not any of these abominable customs, which were done before you, and that ye defile not yourselves therein. I am the Lord your God. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, and say unto them, Ye shall be holy, for I the Lord your God am holy. Ye shall fear every man his mother, and his father, and ye shall keep my Sabbaths, I am the Lord your God. Turn ye not unto the idols, nor make to yourselves molten gods, I am the Lord your God. And when ye offer a sacrifice of peace offerings unto the Lord, ye shall offer it that ye may be accepted. It shall be eaten the same day ye offer it, and on the morrow, and if aught remain until the third day, it shall be burnt with fire. And if it be eaten at all on the third day, it is a vile thing, it shall not be accepted. But every one that eateth it shall bear his iniquity, because he hath profaned the holy thing of the Lord, and that soul shall be cut off from his people. And when you reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not wholly reap the corner of thy field, either shalt thou gather the gleaning of thy harvest. And thou shalt not glean thy vineyard, either shalt thou gather the fallen fruit of thy vineyard. Thou shalt leave them for the poor and for the stranger. I am the Lord your God. Ye shall not steal, either shall ye deal falsely, nor lie one to another. And ye shall not swear by my name falsely, so that thou profane the name of thy God. I am the Lord. Thou shalt not oppress thy neighbor, nor rob him. The wages of a hired servant shall not abide with thee all night until the morning. Thou shalt not curse the deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind, but thou shalt fear thy God, I am the Lord. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor favor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer among thy people, either shalt thou stand idly by the blood of thy neighbor. I am the Lord. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt surely rebuke thy neighbor, and not bear sin because of him. Thou shalt not take vengeance, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with two kinds of seed. Either shall there come upon thee a garment of two kinds of stuff mingled together. And whosoever leeth carnally with a woman, that is a bondmaid, designated for a man, and not at all redeemed, nor was freedom given her, there shall be inquisition. They shall not be put to death, because she was not free. And he shall bring his forfeit unto the Lord unto the door of the tent of meeting, even a ram for a guilt offering. And the priest shall make atonement for him with the ram of the guilt offering before the Lord for his sin which he hath sinned, and he shall be forgiven for his sin which he hath sinned.